What's up, you guys? Bo here, back, and we are going to uh, finish up the van today. All the touch up, just a little bit here and there today. Last night we tested the electrical system and the water, hot water, instantly working. So it's just a minor, minor um, adjustment. And today, I'm before we finish working working on the van, I'm going healthy. Fruit salad, what? Well, yeah, salad, chicken breast, not just fruit. And thank you, Stephen, for buying me the salad. After that, we are going to do the van tour. So stay tuned. After this, I'll see you at the van tour. What's up you guys? This is it. This is Bo. Let's do a van tour. Uh, this one we just, we are 99.9% .9 complete but we have to uh, bring in another one so we have to uh, bring it out and do the touch up uh, in a little bit just we need space. Uh, at the same time I'm gonna go ahead and do a van tour see and show you what we have what we put in this van. It's fully loaded. Okay so this is a 144 um, wheelbase uh, 2019 Sprinter van. Uh, let's take a look uh, from the outside. Let's see what we have. Starting from the roof, uh, you can see all, uh, the, uh, all the uh, lights we have. It's all around there on the front. We have a the uh, spotlight. It's super bright for just for uh, shining. If you go uh, where it's, it's um, dark at night or off road, um, that's what it's for. And the entire rack, it's a flat line um, uh, roof rack. And on the top, we have one 360 watt solar panel. And then on the other side, which I show you in a minute, it's a um, Thule awning. It's a 10 feet awning. That uh, extends out, I think, eight eight feet out. On this side, passenger side, and the sliding door, we have a 96 inch uh, step ladder. Okay, this is very 100% aluminum, uh, very rugged, and also there's a a uh, four feet piece on the driver's side. That's a step ladder. Okay. Side over here, we added two bunk windows. One on this side, one on the other side. Both windows uh, has a half slide, so you um, and the net, so you can uh, when you turn in the uh, fan, it can bring air in or air out through these windows. On this side, beside this uh, bunk window, we added this C R Lawrence. Okay, this is a three-piece part. The half bottom part. Uh, you can open outside to get uh, air in even though in the rain uh, you will not get uh, rain in so this is very a very nice window okay again this van is designed for uh, camping for road trip short trip weekends 
for a family of five. That's why we're creating two uh, uh, double beds. Uh, this one is a flat line bed. Uh, we, we, uh, we bought it like that, but we install it and it comes with, uh, I mean, it doesn't come, we have to buy this um, three inch um, bed uh, set separately. Uh, but that, uh, this one uh, extends to uh, six feet in length, okay? And this is another uh, panel uh, bed that we, uh, we, uh, we made. Um, I'll show you in a bit uh, uh, when the bed in the, in, in the setup position, okay? Let's talk about uh, the kitchen, okay? So back here, uh, we got microwave, we got a propane and the sink, okay? And the uh, external um, uh, quick connect uh, water, okay? This is hot and cold water. And also this entire kitchen light up. So that we can cook outside, you can cook up, uh, up here, and also um, since right here is kind of uh, high for uh, a person to cook, for some people to, too high for, for some people to cook, uh, we create another slide, okay, right here that extends out, and then we put our uh, stove on this side so that we can cook on this side and uh, use our sink on this side. Okay. All right. And it slides back in when you're not using. Okay. And lock in place. All right. On this side, since we have a little bit empty spot, uh, we created a kind of like a pantry. Okay, just for a little storage, whatever you can put in here. Okay. Right. Yeah. So let's talk about the power. This van, we have uh, three 100 watt AGM battle bone batteries. Uh, 300 amps, not 300 watt, okay? 300 amps battle bone um, AGM batteries. Uh, also, uh, 3000 watt uh, energy inverter. You can see it right there. Okay, so uh, we have a, a 30 amp uh, Victron Energy Solar Charge Control behind our panel. And we also have a, a DC to DC charger. It's also it's a, a Victron Orion uh, 30 amp DC to DC charger. Um, also, there are three ways of charging these batteries. Uh, we have the DC to DC charger, which will uh, 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 you get the charge for your battery from your uh, starter. Uh, yes, so from the starter battery. Uh, you also get charge from the 300 uh, watt solar panel on the top. And also, this this in inverter uh, has a um, uh, charge uh, uh, AC charge control. So when you, you have shore power available, you can plug it in, which the plug uh, is located right under the car. Um, so you have, yes, all three ways to charge um, the battery. This is the main power switch. When you exit the car or you want to turn on all the lights inside the car, you turn on this switch. This is the main switch right here okay and as far as the back here these doors since um, again we since we don't have the window um, I created a, um, an, a panel this is also insulated um, foam and the uh, uh, moisture barrier control okay on these doors we also have the uh, uh, spotlight and um, Kenwood speakers. We have a total of four speakers added. Um, we 
we'll go into that um, sound system in a minute. Uh, what else in the back here? Okay. In case I forgot, this is the uh, fresh water inlet. Okay, this is where you um, refill your water. We have a 40 gallon water tank right there. And you can see here, yeah, this is a um, inside here, it's the um, tankless, uh, ventless uh, water heater. So you get hot water on demand. You, get, you turn on, it, on the water and it gets hot right away. We tested yesterday, it was smoking hot right away. Okay, I wanna talk a little bit about these panels. On the back here, you have three pieces, okay? One smaller one and two same sides here. We, we created three uh, because when we turn on the water, we want to make sure the water heater has enough um, ventilation. So this piece uh, will be uh, open, okay? The middle piece, just in case we need to store something uh, in here, we need more uh, space to store, you can remove this piece and also uh, if we need to get um, to the battery or do any maintenance uh, on this side, we can put this piece on this side and it, go, it goes all the way uh, to the back of the seat. Alright, like I said from the beginning, this van uh, was a cargo van, okay, we added the window and we added these seats. Okay, uh, these are not sprinter seats. These are uh, OEM seats from uh, a different Mercedes uh, Benz. We have somebody else install it, not install these. Uh, we want to accommodate um, five, six people, six people in this van. Uh, sleep six and also uh, uh, seat six with the, all the seat belts, right? That's why we have these chairs, uh, and these chairs also folded, so foldable. Okay, you can fold them forward, and you can slide them. Okay, back and forth. Okay, to the position you want. Okay, so when we end, we in the sleeping mode, we put these seats fold them down like this and then all the panels comes all the way to the front here so everybody can sleep it fits everybody in here also the top um, uh, bed comes all the way here so uh, we wanted to, to extend the seat all uh, the uh, bed all the way here because we don't have much room between um, the top bed and the bottom bed try to fit everybody in here that's why um, um, when you when we sleep, just put your feet that way. Uh, that way you don't have to uh, hit your head. <laughs> this side we have our uh, uh, on-off switch for our, the uh, inverter, okay, for the energy, and all these switches that control um, all the uh, lights on the roof. Okay, and we have a few empty ones, I think. Um, Yes, all the, the light, the front, the back, the, uh, um, on the side, they all control from here. And these uh, these ones are for the uh, dimmer switch and on and off switch for these LED. We have two zones, okay, one for these two in the front, okay, and then we have another one for the four in the back. In the front here, uh, we added this uh, storage, the shelf, okay, just for ex uh, extra storage over the driver's head. And here's another camera. We added um, this one so you can see uh, inside um, of the van while you're driving. Uh, just you know to make sure that the kids are fine and uh, another one is on the roof that I show you earlier and here is the screen you can see one's for the back and one uh, for the inside the car 
uh, on this side, the panel here, okay, we have switches uh, for the refrigerator, for the water pump, uh, the stereo, and uh, for the camera unit, okay, you all control from here. Uh, this is a, the remote control for our Max Air fan, which is up here. Okay, this is uh, uh, Max Air 75K Deluxe uh, model, which comes uh, with the um, temperature control, everything. Um, this here is the connection for, we plan to put a TV up here. So you have the uh, TV input, um, with the uh, audio video input and the um, HDMI input over here. Uh, we also have the uh, outlet for the um, the AC power. This is the uh, S by heater. This is uh, S two D two model S by heater. Control from over here, and it comes out from over here. I will hide right here okay all right back to over here um, the uh, Victron um, display it this one it tells you um, about the status of our battery and this the charge from the solar panel uh, this is the water tank level um, you can see from here and this is our Bluetooth um, um, audio control. Okay, that's for all the four speakers. All control from here. Bluetooth radio, AM, FM radio. Okay, and also you have input. There you go. A USB input and auxiliary input also from here for the uh, sound system right down here uh, we have a little sink this is a 15 by 13 inch sink uh, this is our drinking water this is um, it has a filter underneath the sink it's a UV light filter so it's um, for drinking and this is um, hot and cold uh, water in the and sing and also it's a pull out faucet like this okay because we plan to um, have a, a, a portable shower set up you can set up outside or you can set up inside the van and you pull this and you can take a shower from here okay. so like I said it's 99% uh, done and this is going to be our door for the cabinet and it's not done, that's why you see it bobbling. Uh, we're waiting for the lights to come in uh, so we can finish that. And under that, underneath, uh, behind this door here, it's a quarter party. Okay, it's a slide out one, just for emergency use if we uh, if ever need it. And on this side, we have a uh, CFX, um, this is the Matic refrigerator, uh, two zone. Uh, refrigerator and freezer uh, CFX 75 uh, open from the top okay it's a very uh, large size refrigerator that can uh, accommodate all five people in the van okay uh, as far as the uh, uh, plug-in system we have USB here uh, one over there we have AC plug and the USB USB-C on this side and one on this side and we have a couple we have wait we have one we have a couple we do have a couple uh, one on the door and one uh, on this side of the panel so we have USB port all over um, the place uh, whenever you need to charge your phone or anything that needs a USB plug. And we also have little reading light on both sides. 
All right, talking about cabinet. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, storage in here, so the cabinet, large cabinet is needed. These cabinets are heavy duty. The frames are built out of 80-20, and this is a three quarter inch um, bamboo, top, bottom, sides, okay? And supported by two struts, okay? Since this is, I think this is a, a 40 inches, in length this one by 13 inches deep uh, 15 inches uh, top to bottom so it's a very very uh, large uh, cap uh, storage uh, under the cabinet we have another LED uh, light which is a sensor control all you have to do is wave and you get the lights and I think that's it. Oh, if you wonder what these are, these are super strong 90 pound magnets. So just in case, right here. And oh yeah, also we have this LED thing light that can um, uh, point outside and you can ro rotate it so you can see outside at night. Okay, and it is it has an on off switch right here yes back to these magnets in case we have to set up the uh, uh, shower in here okay if it is too windy it's too cold outside you can set up a shower in here we have a portable uh, shower with enclosure that will that hook up to these magnets inside here so you can have a shower so also there's another shower on the outside we have another uh, exterior um, shower enclosure that when you open the door you hook up on the door and use the uh, quick connect uh, shower uh, hose from the outside with hot and cold sack shower and that's pretty much it and I hope you enjoy uh, this um, van tour and thank you so much for watching um, if you have any questions please um, leave your comment down below and don't forget to subscribe we have another van already waiting for us i'm excited and that van is right here all right see you later